Look at my me in my sexy 12 year old boy pajamas. Jumping on here to quickly let you know that my best friend in this entire world, Harry, is doing one of these worst rated videos. He's actually doing the worst rated eyebrow salon in Wales, or the part of Wales that he's from. And I wanted to jump on here and let you know I'm going to link Harry's video below and you should really go and check it out after this video, of course. It's just a little diamond. You might have seen Harry on my channel before. But yeah, let's go and see what his eyebrows turned out like. Because because yeah, I mean, that's on your face. That's a risky thing to go to the worst rated eyebrow salon to get your eyebrows done. But yeah, if you want to see Harry's video, it will be linked below. Also, give him a subscribe because he's a little sweetheart and he deserves the love, okay? But yeah, let's get on to the worst rated cafe. Let's go! Hello, honey buns. It's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we're doing another one of these worst rated videos. Um, yeah, you just really, really like them. And he's not requesting more, so obviously I'm going to do more. Today I'm going to the worst rated cafe in my area. I'm actually going to go with my grandma, so I'm just going to pick grandma up and then we will be heading there. This cafe is actually really um, different. It's a cafe within a shop. But when I was looking at reviews online, like cafes, Newcastle, this come up and it didn't have good ratings at all. So yeah, me and grandma are going to go and we are going to review the cafe. So I'm just on my way to pick gran up now. Okay, so I'm just going to read some of the reviews to you from this cafe. So the reviews read, visit in your castle, decided to go to da 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 for lunch, went to the toilet first, toilet disgusting, urine over the floor, beside the urinal, by the look of it had been there a while and I had a look at the checklist on the door and it was signed as being checked. Should have gone to spec savers. When walking, shoes stick to the floor. Decided not to stay for lunch. Should be so much better. We thought we would try again, and this time at least the service was okay with the pleasant young lady at the counter. We are both trying to lose weight, so declined the extras that were offered chips and coal, so etc. Our drinks, tea, and coffee were okay, hot and served immediately, and we didn't have to wait long for our food. However, it came with chips, so I guess they mistook our order. We both love chips, so had a few, but felt they smell of fish and old fat. Annoyed after ordering cheese joysticks, if I wanted coal, so. I was asked if I wanted coleslaw on to find out it was an extra 99 pence. Wasn't told this when asked and coleslaw was cheap and nasty. I was just telling the video about some of the reviews of the cafe we're going to. So. All oh, right. Um, We've just arrived in the car park. We um, are gonna head into the cafe now. And yeah, we'll see you in the cafe. Okay, so first impressions as we walked into the cafe weren't bad at all, not gonna lie. Um, the interior was slightly dated and could have done with a repaint and that type of thing. But it wasn't a bad looking cafe. So me and Grant stood and studied the menu for a bit just to kind of see what the prices were like, what kind of food they served. And they did have a good variety of food from jack of potatoes to meals um, to salads, quiches, soups. They had bakery stuff, um, kids meals. And I thought it was was really well priced it was a really really cheap cafe they even had like all day breakfasts for offer the prices were actually really cheap in my opinion and um, was quite impressed with the prices so me and grand decided what we wanted to get for our lunch and then um yeah proceeded to, to order it basically so they did have fresh bakery stuff on the front counters they all looked really nice and definitely looked homemade which is a bonus We are in the cafe now. We've placed an order. We've ordered one mince and dumplings, one bacon roll, which is what I'm going to have, um, one pot of tea and one regular cup of coffee. The total for all of that was £10.79. Do you think that's cheap? Yeah. I do think that is cheap. However, the regular coffee was £1.70, which is not the cheapest. Like, you can get them for like 99 pence in other cafes. Um, but the meals were very cheap. The mince and dumplings was £4.99 and the bacon roll was £2.50. So it's really, really cheap. Um, but we're in the cafe now. Overall, there's, there's a handful of people in. It's not dead. People in. Um, the tables that we're sat in are actually really, really clean. Like they've been cleaned and stuff however the interior of them isn't it's a bit dated and the seats and that are busted which i will show you so this was the interior here as you can see it's really rusted but it's nothing that a paint couldn't fix to be honest with you um my tea was my coffee was a little bit bland but it wasn't the worst coffee in the world it was okay um and the sauces were actually free which is a bonus because usually nowadays you have to pay for sauces in cafes 
okay moving on to the toilet i think this is where quite a lot of the reviews um have come from because the toilets weren't the most hygienic in all fairness and when i went in there was rubbish lying around the sinks um i did actually look for a sheet to find out when it was last cleaned but there was nothing anywhere visible um of when the toilets were last cleaned which is a little bit you know it, it obviously they're not cleaned regularly as you can see there was tissue lying around the toilets um as well that just literally hadn't been put down the toilet or in the bin and yeah there was rubbish lying around it wasn't the cleanest of toilets that i've ever seen the toilets were quite run down um but i've definitely seen worse toilets as well it was mainly just kind of rubbish lying around and the floors were a little bit sticky so it felt like it could have just done with a basic clean over and then i think they would have been okay um but yeah as you can see just a bit dirty but it, it, it's nothing terrible like the reviews made this sound terrible there was quite a lot of dust around the door handle as well but I know it's a cafe and hygiene is really, really important, but these were definitely not the worst toilets I've seen. They just needed a bit of a tidy up and a bit of a clean. Grand mince and dumplings being served with veg. Looks nice to be honest. It does look nice and I have got a bacon sandwich which looks okay. I'm gonna pull the fat off the sandwich um, and put some ketchup on it. What's it taste like? I don't know. It's quite a big portion as well for £4.50. It is. Yeah? Flavour adding that? very good i'm gonna put some ketchup on this and then i will taste okay so my bacon sandwich wasn't bad at all it did have quite a lot of fat around it which i did pull off but once i pulled all the fat around it added a bit of ketchup it wasn't a bad bacon sandwich i do like my cake bacon slightly more cooked than it was but that's just personal preference the actual sandwich was nice and it was home cooked grand fancied a scone so i went and got with this one here which is a fruit scone um, and some butter so we're gonna half this as well and see what it's like Oh, is it hard? It's probably just me. It's not warm. Oh, it's not warm either. It's probably been standing a while. Yeah, especially for one person, like. But then there again, if we hadn't had dinner and just had a scone, you probably would have been grand. Yeah. Mine's dead dry. Which you get the pot in most places. But usually they ask if you want it heated, though. Anyway. So I've got the scone, it's okay, um, it is a little bit dry, I have had to have a layer of butter on it and usually I don't like butter at all, um, but it's okay, it's really nice, it's massive as well, so they definitely feel like the homemade, um, but it is a little bit dry in as well, well my bit is, she is a lot of the butter on, so hers probably isn't. <laughs> Okay, so we've actually come back from the cafe. Grand's got out the car, she's not the biggest fan of being. I thought I would just come on and do a quick final review of the restaurant. Grand doesn't like being on camera, hence why she's gone inside. She's not like a one to talk on camera. So we had our meals and I can see where the bad reviews have come from. But I personally don't think it's the worst reviewed castle, uh, castle, the worst reviewed cafe in Newcastle. Now, I can see where the bad reviews come from in terms of the interior of the place. The chairs were really like rusted and the paint was coming off. Um, it was clean though and there was a woman constantly going around cleaning the tables. Um, but the actual interior wasn't the nicest. It was like rusted and I wouldn't say like modern or anything like that. The toilets were pretty grim. They didn't look like they'd been cleaned as regular as the actual cafe was being cleaned. Um, so they weren't, I would, they weren't the nicest. I often find when I'm doing reviews on places, the toilets are always the downfall of the actual place. Um, so yeah, the toilets weren't the nicest. Now the food overall, I had a bacon sandwich. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't the nicest one I've ever had. I do have a bit of a funny stomach now though, but I can't say that that's related to the food. Um, 
Gran really enjoyed her meal, she had mince and dumplings, she really enjoyed it, we're half to scone, the scone was okay, it wasn't the nicest in my opinion, it was a bit dry, the coffee was not nice at all, the coffee had no flavour of coffee, like it didn't taste the best, but overall on the restaurant, I don't think it should be rated the worst in Newcastle, I don't think it was that bad, and I definitely think if I went in small cafes around Newcastle, there'd be much, much worse ones, um, but yeah, this is my overall review of the cafe. It is what it is. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you've got any other video suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And without further ta -ta -ta, I will let you go. And I will see you very shortly for another video.